as we say goodbye to Duke Pavao of the Subic clan, we look further to the next challenges and there are to the left King Harald Horodre Horodre <laughs> and Sultana Arva. And I think it has been a while since we played a queen or a sultana. So I feel we should do this. What I would really like, honestly, in the monarch's journey would be an uh, African monarch's journey. I certainly never play there. Which maybe I should change. Maybe I really should. So, who is Sultana Arva? Well, it says right there. Ava al Sulaji, Sultana of the Sulayid Sultanate, referred to as the Noble Lady, was the first woman to be given the title of Huja, the closest living image of God's will in her lifetime. She reigned over the Yemen for 68 years, improving economy, building schools, and mosques. So I expect that her monarch's journey is related to all these things. I am very happy with this icon of the House of Sulayid because that should be fairly easy to recreate for the thumbnail. Right. We'll jump straight in, not even going to look at the rest there. And we'll read about what she has to do. I got my trusty pen and paper ready just in case I do need to write down who to kill. Let's have a quick look here. Right, we're down here. It's it's a halfway decent starting position. Because there's only really two directions in which to go. North and west. So the east is part of this Hashamid, I believe. No, it, it isn't even. Oh, it's part of the Seljuk Turk. Thing. We're in 1074. <clears throat> so let's look at our challenges. Long live the queen. Okay, we need to hold and control for over 100 years. Sounds doable. We need 12 temples in the realm. Only accomplishable within the featured ruler during their lifetime. So... Building these is probably not really something we can do. So the next best thing would be to conquer them. So these two are again lifetime achievements. Hindus converted to Shia. Only characters converted through character interaction count toward the challenge. Oof. Okay, this one sounds pretty tough this one might be the hardest okay so let's look at ourselves the best way probably we are a mastermind theologian a genius a poet we can't carouse I don't even know why this is an option for Muslim rulers I, I don't understand it Theology doesn't really give you all that many options, but it might be the best thing to do here. First of all, we need to find Hindus. You are Nestorian. You have temples? Yes. We have temples. We have no temples. You have one temple here. Ah, one temple. One. Nothing here, anyway. There are a few temples around here. But really, we would probably want to push toward the more developed countries around us, like the Hashimid. The Atef over here. No, they have nothing. Something like Baghdad would be lovely, I assume. Ah, just one temple too. Lots of cities now. Okay. Right. Uh, let's pick an ambition. 
And we want to groom an heir. Okay. Pulls the caliphate. This guy. Only two or three holy sites are fear controlled. Okay. Yeah, let's go with the theology focus. Why don't we? This, <laughs> this character has completely memorized the Quran. Not bad. Our husband is capable. Uh, let's set a crown focus here. The Duchy of the East could be created. So, we need to interact with Hindus and convert them. So, let's find them, first of all. Hindu is over here mainly. We might have to go to India as a warring faction. Because there are no Hindus anywhere here. And I have my doubts of being able to invite any. So let's check. Search all. Let's go with this slot, but set it to any gender. Don't really care. Sort by this. Sort by this again. Oh. Sunni and Shia. No one else is going to want to join us. So to get the interactions with them, we have to go there. But we can't really go there. Ah, there's a little bit of Hindu. A little bit more of Hindu. need a foothold here so let's try and get one fabricate a claim send our spy master to help again I don't know if it actually works I really don't we can't be Hindu ourselves because if we were then we couldn't convert them Right, let's set some minor titles. Go by whatever is suggested right now because we have so, so few. You go our, our food taster. We have so few vassals anyway to deal with. Doesn't matter all that much. Utor should be someone learned. Okay, our commanders are halfway decent. Him. So let's uh, ruling temples and realm Hindus converted. Ah, so can we declare war on someone for something? Could go for an invasion of Arabia at some point. Force vassalization. Go on a holy war for Hijaz. But that means.
Okay, we are surrounded. Something really loud happened around me just now. We are surrounded by Sunni Muslims. We have this little pocket of Shia here. Over there, there are some more Shia Muslims. So let's see if we can't get something going with the Caliph of Egypt. Where is our... Shia Caliphate. Yeah. The Sultan of Egypt. Let's see if you can't get anything going with him. Doesn't look like it. Bad. The only potential ally we have in the world. So, how strong are we? Three, seven, five. That's not bad. We could try and expand down here a little bit. Blue war for afar. Holy war for afar. Holy war for Berbera. He doesn't have a temple. He has a temples. He has two temples. Well, we can only get one temple out of him. So we'll do this first. Sunni rulers might join him, so we have to be quick about it. This will be our first order of business. Are we leading troops? Are leading troops. Let's engage everyone in theological debate. I don't... I'm not going to lead troops. Definitely not. Okay, let's go to three game speed. How old are we anyway? 26. Okay, who has joined you? This guy. Okay, so now we're facing the two strongest down here. We have to cross before they can cut us off. From crossing, because crossing straight hurts a whole lot. But once we have troops over, we're in a much better position. Okay, we should also pretty much immediately engage them. And send all our troops instantly to follow up. Because he has these. And he has another 1,300. So if they combine, it's going to be much harder to fight them. It's not going to go well. I have a feeling. But we'll see. So we do have some... Reinforcements joining us. So we get the first few battles. And we took him prisoner. Oh, fortuitous. Very fortuitous indeed. So that was a quick one. And we got the first part challenge done. All right, so let's send our friend here to convert. Cool. So being Shia actually helps us a little bit because it allows us to create some vassals out of these. We don't want to hold cities or temples. Because it allows us holy war as a means of waging war. You are really unfortunate, my man. Really unfortunate. So next we could declare war on them. 
They are waging a holy war themselves currently. What could we get? Why can't we wage holy war on you? Can we get... What is this? Kokotra. We even have a de jour claim on it. But it's going to be a hard one to fight. I think we should try and get it. Oh, Holy War also reduces decadence, it seems. Good. to do what to do another holy war there he doesn't hold anything interesting that does he but there's this lovely kingdom here wage holy war against Also try and hage, uh, wage holy war against him. Hey, where's this big option gone? Ah, that's the invasion. Arabia. How can we interact with Hindus? Beside actually holding any land there. Let's take care of this stuff down here first. We might not have enough ships elsewise, so we have to raise our own. Beats. Maybe we are in luck and he will attack us off his island, otherwise we'll have to land on it, which isn't ideal in terms of loss of life, potentially. Ah oh, yeah, he's attacking us. Great. So we offload our troops immediately again. And reroute everyone to go here. Because they're engaging now. Unfortunately. Let's send our ships to pick him up in a moment. on people join 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 there we go barely reinforced everyone uh. okay we're going to chase them around a bit actually we're going to split and chase them around a bit the rest are going to start the siege work. Okay, let's land these troops here. Are switching around here. Where are they going? Siege work is happening. There they are, we shall attack.
We want all the flanks to exist. Everyone has kind of weak flanks right now. There's a lot of warfare going on down here. Okay, we have taken one of his men captive. And he was waiting for his ships to pick him up. So we took him out. Just in the right moment. I really don't know other ways to get to Hindustan. Well, not really Hindustan, but how to get into Hindu territory so we can convert them. It's a really weird challenge. Honestly. It's a really weird challenge. Right. They are probably moving back to the coast, so shall we? Especially since we're suffering attrition out here. How to interact with Hindus. I do not know. Oh, we have inherited a mosque there. Probably not that one. Which one? This one. Go to one of our boys. Why not? Oh, he's now our heir. Because this goes by merit. Alright, we can get these troops back home. The 148 are not going to be any issue to us. Alright. Which one of you is better? Pretty much the same. Could give him this island. Give him the island. Please, our new heir. To create him his very own duchy. Is the du jour area of our okay this we could declare war on him there's 16,000 troops is engaged in a Georgian holy war he is winning probably best not to go there can you guys get on with it, please? Can't declare war because we can't afford to lose the prestige.
He's a Jew. Oh, there's there's three temples in there. We're currently fighting this other guy. How strong are you guys? On three, two, something. Doable for us. Doable for us. So let's go. Two here. We will use them as well. Everyone collect here. Our husband died. So let's make him a commander. Let's send down these ships. And we're unmarried. Maybe we can find a Buddhist or a Hindu. No. Go to the wider world. Find Diplo Rain. Should be some. Are some Hindus in the one of them wishes some of them wish to marry they will not accept offers from infidels can't do it like that Now we can't do a matrilineal marriage and we're still really young so there's a chance of having more children so what we need someone of our own dynasty which doesn't exist so we're not going to take anyone We'll just hope that our sons make it adulted. We will dismiss this for now. Ah, we'll wait for our troops to completely assemble. Oh, not completely. The 40 will be our grand reinforcement troop. The issue is that these are fighting over the same thing, I believe. We are not actually being in a, put in a war with his enemy, what usually happens. Ah, uh, yeah. Morale of armies. Ah, the weather will change in time. We're not going to do rain dances. Is going fairly quickly. Let's walk through the desert, suffer all the attrition, get to them. Oh, 
Oh, they're not even there. Where are they then? Probably here. There. This will be a hard one. We might lose it very well. Ah, oh, well, we're joined by the Abyssinians. We didn't lose it. And we are the ones sieging here, I think. Are we? Well, the siege leaders are different people than us. But the sieges count for us. We can take these, maybe? Let's hope our army is quicker than the other ones. Nope, they're not. We will not gain sympathy for Christians. Bless skies. Rains have been plentiful and great for the harvest areas. Why are these feasts so expensive? Ten years monthly piety. No, that's just great news. It, it's what it is. Oh no, we have a peasant revolt. That's that's very bad. Because we don't have enough troops to deal with it. Let's finish this war first. Oh no, our army is losing. Nope, oh, they barely won. There we go. So let's not stand them down. Okay, we need to bring them here. And we need to raise ourselves some mercenaries. I mean, these are peasants. We've got silver rank on the first challenge there. Yeah, we have too many. And just give them to our son. Honestly, let's do it. He gets Accord Dot. And he gets. This is Aksu. Is there any th affordable mercenary troop? The Crocodile Company. Oh. Okay, affordable isn't our issue. Numbers are. Need a big one. God damn it. I don't know if we can afford to keep them long enough to make them useful. Because I have to recover their morale first. Where did they prop up? I paid for them. Where are they? What the hell? Where are my horsemen? Am I blind? What the what? 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 I figured like they might spawn here or something. 
Okay, let's borrow some money. Just so we can afford them long enough to come to us. Should probably move our troops. Because if these start attacking us... Really? Really? Oh yeah, we can have a lover, why not? You know what, we could go for the seduction and try and seduce ourselves a whole bunch of people. Try that. This guy gets so hard executed. Not even funny how hard he will be executed. But this still belongs to Abyssinia, this one city there, this one temple, which annoys me a little bit, but we only need two more anyway. Alright, switch our focus over to seduction as soon as we can, which is very soon, and we'll see if the great seductress can do something about it. Sultana Arva of the Sulaid Sultanate.